What up, YouTube? YouTube. Been a while. Um, excuse the crazy camera angle, but I'm just going to talk you through this. Um, <clears throat> and pretty much, you know, just showing you kind of how I got things laid out on the pads. Not showing programs or anything like that, because those work with MPC machine or whatever device you use. The concept is still the same, so let's just rock through it. <clears throat> now, a lot of times we, 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 we're um, diehard samplers and we're looking for the perfect sample. Sometimes we find a loop and we roll with it. But sometimes we want to take those samples and, and, and make them our own or implement some stuff. And sometimes chopping ain't enough. Sometimes you got to add some type of, some level of instrumentation, um, drums and things of that nature that, that really make the thing pop and, and, and make it your own. So pretty much this is just telling you how to utilize um, construction kits. A lot of people look at it as taboo. I'm like, by any means necessary. That's why we started sampling in the first place. Some people get live musicians and come in and play music and then they'll record the session and then take chops from that. All that's really the same thing. We're still sampling and we're still just capturing you no know, information that we can use to our advantage. So here's where we here's where we are. Um this is the sample. I always chop them across my pads because I like to do like a... Um, so I can do like a manual time stretch. Now, if I go to the se second track... Well, second sequence that is. I mainly did this for the example of this video, and then when I, um, because I wanted to talk about this technique, then it sounded pretty cool, so I think I'm gonna keep it. But anyway, so that's the sample. Um, so if we just listen to the sample itself, let's go to sample edit. You know. Then I never use those drums. I guess y'all get the point. Like Dave, how many times you gonna let us hear the sample? But <clears throat> once you got your sample, this is actually in the um and the thumb drive that I um that I sold so a while back. Um where I put all the samples and key. This is actually from a TV theme and this is actually in the key of F minor. So I went to that folder and, and, and snatched this sample. And so the cool thing about that when you want to get it in fast, you want to get ideas in fast or you want to create something pretty quickly or or, or say you just musician wise you're not a musician like I'm not and you're trying to get the perfect bass line and, and, and you find yourself struggling with it go through your construction kits because if you're like me you got tons of construction kits tons of stuff but you're just not using them so you get a sample you lay some drums and you try to play something to it and you forget about all those construction kits you got piled up on your hard drive that you're not using so go through them look for everything that's in the key of F you know, like for instance, that's what I did in this. I said, well, I, I'm dealing with F minor, so let me check out my construction kits and see what I got in the in, um, key of F minor. So, so let's play around. So, this is the sample for the last time, because I know you're bored with that. Now, this is um, a piece from the construction kit. Right? This is another one. And I purposely just took pieces and didn't chop them up. You no, know, the majority of them I didn't chop them up. Just to show you how you can blend things together. Sort of like being a DJ. Now, I'm going to go to um, sequence three. I think that got a lot going on. Yeah, so you can see all these tracks. So, lay down the drum loop. Yeah. 
right? Do that. Then what I did was Is this playing? Hmm. Let's check this track out. So that's for my hook. So I thought the, those bells would, would make a, um, a nice addition to the hook, right? Then when I go to the main, the main chorus portion, I added this in it. It's like a staticky noise. You may not be able to hear it on the camera, but it just adds a nice little element to the beat. <clears throat> So, I took those things and I blended everything together, and this is kind of what I came up with. So, let's start off with the intro. Is this it? Yep. Alright, it's intro. Got everything muted. Sorry, folks. the gist of it so you can take those elements from your construction kits and play with bass lines so if you need a bass check out the bass lines that you got in construction kits they're in the same key <clears throat> or check out um synth parts or keyboard parts or things of that go through your construction kits mix them with your samples and see what you come up with um very simple thing to do <clears throat> also even if you're chopping up your samples i mean you can um you, you kind of got the gist of the key as long as you don't like um, tune it or anything like that and you kind of sure what the key is or you can figure out the key you look for those samples in, within that same key and then you look for things that can actually complement it and plus they're royalty free and sometimes in doing that and then chopping up I'm going to do another segment where I'll take a sample a raw sample I'll use construction kits to complement it and, and I'll use those samples like a record I will chop those samples up to complement the original sample, take the original sample out and see how you can come up with a beat, or at least with inspiration for a beat. So use those construction kits, folks. Use those construction kits. They will take you so far. So just a quick video just to kind of give you an idea how to get it in. Peace.